want to wait for the big. This is Jay Todd, and here's what's happening this week in gambling. This week in gambling has been made possible by Casino Action, a member of the Casino Rewards family. Casino Action, where the action never sleeps. Hello everyone and welcome to This Week in Gambling. I'm your host, Jay Todd, coming to you from our secret location somewhere in the Sonoran Desert. It's a dry heat. We have a really great show for you this week, but I mean, is that so surprising? Don't we have a good show pretty much every week? <laughs> On this show, we have an interview with Peter Laverick, the director of marketing for IGT, the largest supplier of casino games in the world, plus an update on the Kentucky Derby and the NBA and NHL playoffs for you sports bettors out there. But first, We've been covering the collapse of Full Tilt Poker for a while now, from the uh, missing funds to the supposed buyout from a French investment group, up to the current rumors that Poker Stars is somehow going to acquire whatever's left of the company. No one seems to know what's going on or what's going to happen next, but we're keeping an eye on that story for you. It wasn't the only big news from the world of online poker this week, however. Reports are that Lock Poker will purchase the entire Cake Poker network and then rebrand it Revolution Gaming. An appropriate name, if you ask me, because many suspect that this move could change the entire balance of power in the upcoming U.S. regulated online poker market. Can't believe I said all that in one breath. Any changes will not be noticed by players until about June 1st, so you have a little bit of time. All right, there was an upset at the Kentucky Derby this past weekend. Yeah, here with more on that and what else is going on in the world of sports betting news, here's the man in the $40 suit, Peter Loshak of SBR Forums. Thanks, Jay. Well, this past weekend, it was a very big betting weekend. In boxing, Floyd Mayweather uh, beat Miguel Cotto as a big favorite. Mayweather was about minus 800 to win. And then in the Kentucky Derby, there was the never surprising big upset with a 15 to one shot winning. But as I've always said, matchup props are my favorite way to bet those kinds of big horse races. And in the preview of the Derby that I did with SBR's resident handicapping expert, we actually identified Doolahan as the horse with the most likely value. And Doolahan did in fact come in third. So if you had Doolahan in matchup props, as we recommended, you probably cashed big. Uh, Doolahan was a big underdog in matchup props when he was matched up against some of the other top choices in the race. So uh, check out our previews of the next two Triple Crown races that we'll be doing uh, in the coming weeks, Jay Todd. And uh, look also for my, uh, my pink shirt with, with, with cufflinks that I wear for uh, in honor of the uh, Triple Crown. It's a very sophisticated and kind of an upper class look that goes very well with horse racing videos. The Derby actually set a record for the highest handle ever this year. $133 million was bet on the Derby. That's up 19% from last year and up 12% from the previous high. So maybe uh, the end of the recession is in sight and maybe that's a sign that the stimulus is finally working or something like that, but it did set a record this year. Other than that, the football season is continuing and the LA Angels are still the worst team to bet on money-wise on the year overall. But Albert Pujols has finally hit his first home run of the season. So uh, maybe the hyped up Angels will start being a profitable bet soon, although I personally doubt it. They're still likely to be very overvalued. The Baltimore Orioles are right now the most profitable team in the majors so far on the year, and we've been debating whether that's likely to continue or not going forward at SBR. And then the, uh, the NBA and the NHL playoffs are rolling along. In the NBA, the Spurs are looking awesome, and they've covered every game easily so far. We've also seen a slight undertrend in the playoffs. 60% of the games have gone under through Sunday. The round two matchups are coming up soon, and when the second round series odds and game lines do come out, there's probably going to be some good value with off numbers that are based on year-long stats and not reflective of what's more likely to happen in the pressure cooker atmosphere of the NBA playoffs. So uh, I highly advise you to come to SBRJ, Todd, and read what posters have to say about all of that. 
And then the, uh, the NHL playoffs are continuing. And repeating what I said in one of my earlier segments for you, Jay, the LA Kings are this year's chronically undervalued playoff team. They're really peaking and absolutely rolling and cruising and a lot of other euphemisms for getting high right now. And they've won eight out of their nine playoff games. And all eight wins were as an underdog or a favorite of less than minus 130. So they've really been cashing. Kings are probably going to be matched up against Phoenix next round, which will be an intriguing matchup. But uh, I'm confident that at SBR, we'll be able to find some value there. And that's what's on tap in the world of sports betting this week. Back to you, Jay Todd. Thanks, Pete. Always a pleasure having you on the show, my friend. Don't move, because when we come back from the break, our interview with the director of marketing from IGT. And you're not going to want to miss it, I promise. Staring down the road, and I pray to God I see headlights. Headlights. I made it down the coast in 17 hours. Picking me a bouquet of dogwood flowers. And I'm hoping for Raleigh I'll see my baby tonight. Baby tonight. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, and away you feel. Hey, 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 mama, rock me. Mama like the wind and the rain, rock me, mama like a southbound train. Hey, 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 mama, rock me. Rock it, you rock. How you doing? How you doing? Just checking you out. It's the beard. International Game Technologies, or IGT, had an announcement this week. Their Mega Jackpots products just hit the floor of the Italian casino Campioni. Yeah. But what have you as a player heard about IGT? What you don't know may actually surprise you. Hello everyone, I've caught up with Peter Laverick, the Director of Player Marketing for IGT. Now, if you don't know who IGT is, what are you living in a cave? <laughs> you, you might not recognize the name IGT if you're a player, but you're going to certainly recognize some of their games. They're the biggest supplier of casino games in the world. Peter, thank you so much for coming on with us. Can you tell some of our viewers uh, a few of the games they might recognize if they're in a casino in Vegas or anywhere else? Certainly. Um, in terms of the land-based business, um, IGT are probably most famous for the Wheel of Fortune brands. Um, certainly, uh, probably the most famous slot machine in the world, I would say. Created many, many millionaires over the years. Um, I think in addition to that, a lot of the famous IGT titles, such as Cleopatra, Da Vinci Diamond, these are games that have been on the casino floor for a long, long time. In the US and World World. I know I've played Wheel of Fortune uh, when I'm in it because it's, it's a fun, spectacular game. You guys are all about entertainment, uh, bringing value to the players, but it's not just uh, in a land-based environment. With the, the onset of the online gambling industry and the opportunity there, uh, you guys are certainly moving that direction. Not so much in the U.S. yet, uh, but of course things are changing. And so can you tell people a little bit about your online uh, side? Certainly, we all hope things are changing in the U.S., um, but uh, a lot of people may not be aware, especially in the States, that IGT has actually run a very successful online and mobile division for 12 years now, um, with 99% of the revenues coming from Europe. Um, and a, a large proportion of that from the UK as well, which is very much seen as the, the most regulated uh, and historic online game and market in the world. Um, and a lot of them brands that we operate in successfully in the land-based casinos are very, very successful online. So Cleopatra, Da Vinci Diamond, Siberian Storm, all of these games are very, very successful in the land-based arena. Um, in addition to that, we also have a lot more brands uh, in the online uh, world. So a lot of people who will have played Monopoly, um, which is actually made by a competitor in the land-based arena, all of those Hasbro title games are also produced by IGT Online. Um, and the Monopoly uh, slot games are probably the most successful online slot games uh, in the albeit brief history of, uh, say, over a decade of online gaming. Well, you know, uh, if someone's online and they're living in a legal jurisdiction like the UK, uh, who, uh, who are you powering? Where can they go maybe to play a couple of these? So IGT is very much a B2B operator in that space. Um, and we actually distribute to, um, I think it's 40 of the top 50 uh, operators in the world today. 
Um, the vast majority of the tier one operators, the very top of the top, um, the Ladbrokes, the William Hills, the Betfair, the Paddy Powers, all these guys in, the wor um, in Europe who are very, very successful, um, they all carry IGT content. Excellent. You know, I appreciate you coming on. IGT is a great company. I look forward to the day where we can go online here in the U.S. and play some of your games. Thank you, Peter. We all certainly do. Thanks, Jake. All right, let's put a cherry on top of this Sunday and call it a show. I hope that you have all been entertained, informed, had a good time. Be sure to come back next time for more of what's happening this week in gambling. Of course, that'd be next week in gambling. Or would it be that week in gambling? Pick the banjo now. Pick a banjo. Oh, the North Coast winners are getting me low. I lost my money playing poker, so I had to up and go. Ain't going back to living that old life no more. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, and away you feel. Hey, 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 mama, rock me. Yet another use for zucchini.